Okay guys, so today we're gonna go foraging for our fishing lures. So I'm here at low tide. As you can see, all these rocks are covered with green algae. I like coming here at low tide because I find a lot of fishing lures as well as I can scope out the areas that would be good for fishing. So when I'm looking for lures, I'm broadly scanning the horizon, looking for anything that stands out. And you wanna make sure to stay in this green area because you know that normally this is underwater. So when you're looking for spots to look for lures, you wanna go to really popular spots, places a lot of beginners go because they lose a lot of gear easily. These rocky areas are really easy to get snagged up on. Especially if you find a low tide that is on a Monday or Tuesday right after a weekend, people go fishing on the weekends and lose a lot of gear. So when I'm walking around, I'm just looking for big rocks. See, this is recently lost. Look at this gear. This is all brand new gear. A nice barrel swivel, a nice shiny bucktail, a fresh grub. If you look at this hook, you could tell that it was recently lost. There's no rust on it at all. It's still extremely sharp. So you can tell this guy was a beginner because of the way he hooked this grub onto the bucktail. Also, he was using really heavy braid. This is like a rope. And this is a four strand braid, so you know that they're not serious anglers. The strength is just way too much for this rig. And then he doesn't even use a leader. He just ties the braid straight to the bucktail. So this is a good example of looking in places where beginners fish because beginners lose a lot of gear. So thank you very much. As you guys saw, I all I saw was this little tail sticking out, but it caught my eye, so I decided to look at it. And this actually looks pretty fresh still. So let's add that to the collection. This is like foraging with outdoor chef life, except these lures, they don't move very fast. They don't run away from you. But it's exciting. It feels like you're just making money. So I look for stumps like this. As you can see, the fishing line is caught up in here. So this is a good spot to look, like uh, stumps and stuff like that, where lures can get caught up on. Also, fish tend to congregate around these bigger rocks. Fishermen tend to throw towards those structures, so they get caught up there. Okay guys, so that's not a shell. Nice four ounce weight. We're on a roll here. Even if we don't catch any fish, we still caught something today.
Add that to the catch, boys. It's interesting to see what kind of lures people are using. Okay, so this guy was having a bad day. This is the same lure as the other one we just found. This guy was having a bad day. Okay, add it to the list. That's a nice one. Swivel, beads, and a nice egg weight. I think that's gonna be the last thing, guys. That was an epic day of foraging for lures. So if you guys want to get some free fishing gear, come out during low tide to your favorite fishing spots and go collect some lures. It's definitely worth it, in my opinion. Okay guys, so this is our haul for today. Pretty crazy what you can find during the low tide. Some of the stuff is pretty much brand new too. I have a four ounce torpedo weight. This is maybe an ounce and a half, two ounce white bucktail. The hook is still sharp too. And then I found a silver bucktail. This is more higher quality. The hook on this is still good too. On that, a brand new barrel swivel. These are expensive. And then I found a little jig head. The hook is still good. Jig head isn't rusted out. Even the grub is still good. And then I found another one of these bucktails, smaller. This looks like one ounce, maybe half ounce. It has the same kind of grub on it. This hook is still good too. This bucktail had a tactical angler clip on there. That's pretty cool. No rust, so I can reuse that. And then the last find of the day was this nice egg weight. Snap swivel couple beads and a blunted hook so thank you for watching guys get out there at low tide and go get some free fishing gear All right, everyone. So thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's do a quick giveaway because we just hit 3.5K subscribers on YouTube. I really can't thank you guys enough. All your support, your tips on how to catch salmon. I really appreciate everything. It also makes me feel really good when you guys come up to me in person and say hello. I hope to meet a lot of you guys out on the water sometime. But real quick, let's do this giveaway. So there's two things that we're going to give away this time. We're going to give away a set of poppers and a set of P-line stuff. 
This stuff is mostly made for whipping. It's just a bunch of stuff I put together that I think you guys would like. For prize number one, I put in some bubble floats. It's meant for whipping. Then I added some swivels, some rolling swivels, some technical snap swivels, some glow sticks, split ring pliers, 20 pound fluorocarbon. This Pilon Shinsei fluorocarbon I've been using for the past couple months now, catching all sorts of species with it. So this is tested and proven. If you've never bought fluorocarbon before and you're looking to try it out sometime, check out this Pilon Shinsei. It's extremely stiff, abrasion resistant, and I've never had a problem losing fish on it. Last but not least, we have these Hawaiian Angler Grubs. These are the four inch 20 packs in the blue Obake and the Glow Pearl. The next prize is two Nickfish Poppers and these are brand new on the market. I had them specifically designed for us on this channel and they're only sold here. This is designed for long distance casting and it's based off of my favorite style lure, the rooster popper. These poppers are tail weighted, so they cast a mile. They have this nice 3D finish. So they reflect a lot of light. So this popper has a specifically designed mouth that throws a lot of water when you pop it with very minimal effort. These hooks are unbelievably sharp and I just love the shape of them. These hooks are modeled after those BKB Raptor hooks. The popper is gonna come in 40 grams, both in about three to four inches. The popper comes in two colors, the blue moon and the redhead. The blue moon was named after one of my friends in Hawaii. He's a fellow YouTuber. His channel is Moonfish. I'll leave the link in the description below. And last but not least, I'm giving away a Nomad Design Lure. This is my favorite modern lure company on the market today. So the rules for this giveaway is you have to go to my new website, link in the description below, and purchase a popper. So if you're part of our Facebook community, you've already heard that I opened up a new website to sell my poppers. I'm going to give away these two prizes to two random people that purchase poppers before my next video. Each popper that you buy is going to be one entry. So good luck to everybody. Thank you for watching. And I hope you guys win.